Hello, hello, once again. On the top of our code is quadratic equations. Quadratic equation is an equation of the form. Cause the greatest the power here is 2. This equation has a twist to solutions. And here we are going to see when this function has two nodes, let's say alpha and beta are the roots of the given equations. Simply, this equation becomes, we factorize by A here, take A out and stay with x square positive b over a, x positive c over a, and this is 0. Equating this to 0, we divide by a everywhere, on left or right. We stay with x square positive b over a, x positive c over a, and dividing c here, we stay with 0. In short, this equation becomes x square negative sx positive p, which is 0. Where this s, here s, is the sum of the nodes. And p here is a product of the loops. In, in short words, S equals to negative B over H and P equals to C over A. Let's have a short example. Short example. Form a quadratic equation whose roots are four and negative three. This is the root. This may stand, stand for may stand for alpha and this stand for beta. Here the sum is alpha positive beta and this sum will be 4 negative 3. Here s is 1 while p is 4 times negative 3. The product here is is 4 times negative 3, this is negative 12. The new equation we are going to form here, the equation we are going to form is, let's say, new equation is x square. The new equation here is x square negative sx positive p which is 0 and we've already seen what is s what is p our s here was 1 and our p was negative 12 the equation is x square negative 1 times x negative 12 which is 0 the equation becomes 1 times x we know that this one is an identity element in multiplication. That, that means 1 times s becomes s. x. This is x negative 12, which is 0. Now we see the equation whose roots are 4 and negative 3.
let's have another example. Example two. Example two. Let's say the quadratic. equation x is here positive 2 x positive 3 which is 0 has alpha and beta as its roots Without solving, the equation find the numerical values of. Alpha soya positive beta soya Alpha power 3 positive beta power 3 Alpha power 4 positive beta power 4 and Alpha negative beta To answer the questions of these signs why we have this equation? Remember, we have a quadratic equation of this form negative sx positive b, which is zero. Here, our s is negative two. S is negative two, while p is three. Remember, s stands for the sum of the roots of the equation that is to say cos of root alpha and beta this is to say s is equal to alpha positive beta here alpha positive beta this is negative 2 p is the product of the roots the product of alpha and beta here alpha times beta is 3 to answer the question 1 to answer the question 1 we have alpha square plus beta squared what we know we know that alpha plus beta power 2 is equal to alpha square positive 2 alpha beta positive beta square this is the same as alpha square positive beta square positive 2 times alpha times beta. Here, alpha square plus beta square is equal to alpha. We take this product of 2, alpha and beta to the left. Here is alpha positive beta power 2, negative 2 alpha beta okay alpha square positive beta square is equal to we know that we already know that the sum of alpha and beta is negative 2 we take negative 2 here for 2 negative 2 into our product is 3 alpha Square plus beta square is equal to 4, negative 6. Alpha square plus beta square will be negative 2. This is the numerical value of alpha square positive beta square. The second one is alpha power 3 positive beta power 3. From alpha plus beta power 3, Let's say what we did in a period time was star. This, let's say, is double star. Alpha plus beta altogether power 3 is equal to alpha power 
3 plus 3 alpha squared beta power 3 alpha beta squared positive beta power 3 it's the same as waiting alpha power 3 positive this beta power 3 positive here and here let's factorize by 3 alpha and beta 3 times alpha times beta we will stay with alpha positive beta here thus alpha power 3 plus beta power 3 is equal we will take this this side we will negate it here it's alpha plus beta power 3 negative 3 alpha beta into alpha positive beta if you see well this alpha plus beta is the sum of the, the roots of the equation here alpha times beta is a product and here is a sum alpha power 3 plus beta power 3 is equal to alpha plus beta was negative 2 power 3 negative 3 into 3 into negative 2 this is because the product of alpha and beta is 3 and the sum of alpha and beta is negative 2 here is negative 8 this times this 3 times 3 is 9 9 times negative 2 is negative 18 times this negative will be positive 18 the numerical value of alpha power 3 plus beta power 3 is thus 10 we remain we are remaining with only alpha minus beta let's do it there the next is alpha power 4 plus beta power 4 what is this this can be written as the square of alpha square beta square power 2 here is the square of the square this will be done the same way as that of alpha square plus beta square this is the same as alpha square plus beta square power 2 negative 2 alpha square beta square this is equal to alpha plus beta power 2 negative 2 alpha beta power 2 negative 2 into alpha beta power 2 now here is the sum of alpha and beta here is the product of alpha and beta and same here the product of alpha and beta we've seen that the sum of alpha and beta was negative 2 while the product was 3 this alpha power 4 plus beta power 4 will be equal to negative 2 power 2 negative 2 times 3 all together power 2 negative 2 into 3 power 2 alpha power 4 plus beta power 4 will be equal to here is 4 4 negative 6 power 2 negative 2 times 9 alpha power 4 positive beta power 4 is equal to 6 minus 2 uh, sorry 4 negative 6 is negative 2 negative 2 power 2 gives 4 negative negative 2 times 9 this is 18 alpha power 4 plus beta power 4 is equal to negative 14 here is the numerical value of alpha power 4 positive beta power 4 the meaning is alpha negative beta we, we, only, we only know 
the sum of alpha and beta, but we don't know what is the difference of alpha and beta. This is Foster's. This is Foster's, which is alpha minus beta. This will be derived from two formulas. What do we know? Alpha negative beta for 2 is equal to alpha soya negative 2 alpha beta positive beta soya. Alpha negative beta for 2 can also be written. Let's collect this and this together. Alpha soya plus beta for 2 negative 2 alpha beta. What about Let's say this is 1. Alpha plus beta for 2. This is equal to alpha soya plus 2 alpha beta positive beta for 2. Alpha soya, sorry, alpha positive beta for 2 is equal to alpha soya plus beta soya plus 2 alpha beta let's say this is 2 from 2 from 2 alpha square positive beta square is equal we will take this 2 times alpha and beta here we will bring it here that is to say you can negate 2 alpha beta on both sides. Okay, will be equal to alpha positive beta power 2 negative 2 alpha beta. Let's say this is 3. Replace 3 in 1. In 1, which is alpha negative beta power 2 equal to we let this instead of writing this alpha plus beta for 2 negative 2 alpha beta this is alpha square minus plus beta square then negative 2 alpha beta alpha minus beta for 2 is equal to alpha plus beta for 2 negative 4 alpha beta alpha minus beta take the square root on both sides will be the square root of alpha positive beta power 2 negative 4 alpha beta here alpha minus beta is equal to the square root Alpha plus beta is negative 2. This is negative 2 for 2 minus 4 times 3. Alpha minus beta will be the square root of 4 negative 12. 4 negative 12. Alpha negative beta is equal to negative 8 and this does not exist in Allah the only solution is on C thank you I want you to keep subscribing and sharing our videos thank you may God bless you